honestly long overdue um, to my knowledge I don't think I've ever done a wrestling themed video in my entire six seven year YouTube career and uh, Wrestlemania is this weekend for those of you that aren't wrestling fans Wrestlemania is the Super Bowl of the wrestling season uh, a season that runs 365 days a year, but Wrestlemania is basically where all the storylines and everything comes to a close. You know, you have these storylines that can go on as, oh, you know, as long as a year. Uh, some of them are just, you know, smaller storylines of like the last month or two months or three months. And others, you know, there's storylines that have been, you know, going on their whole careers and, you know, over the last year. Anyways, I'm rambling. We're going to go through the super Super Bowl, the WrestleMania card, and make our predictions, and, uh, yeah, have some fun with it, I guess. WrestleMania nowadays is a two-night event. I don't know why they do that now. I don't really like committing my entire weekend to watching a two-night event of wrestling. I feel like they could have still just kept it, like, a six-hour, one-night event, or, like, even shorter than that. I don't know, they have way too many matches in WrestleMania now, and uh, it kind of takes away from some of the the glamour, I guess, but if you're new to the channel, and you're into ASMR and ASMR gaming, then hit that subscribe button uh, before you sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright, so, disclaimer, I don't watch wrestling every day, I don't watch every, you know, Monday night, Tuesday, or Monday night, Friday night, Raw and SmackDown. I don't watch every pay-per-view. The last pay-per-view that I watched was the Royal Rumble. I love the Royal Rumble. That's the, the one pay-per-view that I usually will go out of my way to watch. Despite not watching wrestling, you know, prior to that. Um, and then, you know, every now and then, if I've, if I've got a minute on a Monday night or a Friday night, I'll throw it on. But I know the general, the gist of certain storylines going on right now, so I should be able to predict the winners. And starting with Saturday's kickoff match, we have John Cena versus Austin Theory. John Cena, or Austin Theory, rather, has been compared to John Cena. I, I mean, I guess I kind of see it. They were both really young when they debuted. They maybe kind of look alike. see it all that much um i see one of two things happening here i see either um john cena winning if they have him under contract you know if, if they have him uh not be a part-timer or maybe actually no i see either austin theory winning or john cena winning obviously there's only two options there whoever wins i see them losing on after WrestleMania, which is always a big, a big show, um, I could see like a, a, a surprise return out of uh, out of somebody full time, you know, maybe like a Randy Orton or something who's been out with back surgery. But I would say that they're more likely it, it would kind of protect Austin Theory if he lost to John Cena. And then John Cena dropped the belt to a surprise return. Uh, then, you know, Austin Theory winning against John Cena just to turn around and lose to a surprise return the next day. So I'm going to say John Cena wins. And then I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to say there's going to be a surprise return on Monday night. And, you know, we might get the United States Open Challenge thing that he always does or that he always used to do. And we get a return and they take the title off of John Cena. John Cena goes away, rides off into the sunset, does his movies and stuff some more. And uh, we get an Austin Theory versus whoever um, whoever wins the title from, from Cena. Drinking a juvie, by the way. I just woke up getting a little bit of caffeine in me. But moving on, we have next on the card. Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I would say, I think, I have a prediction here. I think that the, uh, oh gosh, <laughs> what is, I forgot the name of the faction. Rhea Ripley's faction is going to uh, sweep. I, 
Judgment Day. There we go, Judgment Day. And it's going to start with Rhea Ripley winning the SmackDown Women SmackDown Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. Rhea Ripley seems like a like a legitimate badass. Honestly, uh, she definitely. I, I, I could be wrong. She might be ex MMA. I cannot remember. I know like Shayna Baszler was ex MMA, but was Rhea Ripley ex MMA? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comment section. I do like Charlotte Flair. I mean, she's Charlotte Flair, but she's one. She's she's got the name right, Flair. She's a Flair, but I think I think she's got to put Rhea Ripley over. Or I could be wrong. Maybe maybe it's the reverse. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe. Um, maybe all of Judgment Day loses at WrestleMania, and that kind of like stamps the end of Judgment Day. Or I could see maybe Rhea Ripley being the only one to lose, or something like that. And then they play on that little, um, you know, you know that that dynamic of oh, you were the only one from Judgment Day to lose. Anyways, I don't think it'll be Rhea Ripley. What I actually think it'll be is Dominic Mysterio. I think Dominic Mysterio loses to Ray. But we'll get to that later. Next, we have the Usos versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. This has been the storyline of a lifetime. The Bloodline. What a what a what a turn of events for Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. When I was in college, we would watch pretty regularly. Um, we would we would kind of get together. Me and my you know my roommates in college. We would get together and watch. A SmackDown or even a pay-per-view, and Roman Reigns was getting the John Cena treatment. He was getting the mega push, and nobody liked him. Everybody hated him. Everybody hated him as a face. They couldn't stand his guts. And then, what a turn of events! He, he turns it around. He turns heel, and he is an absolute legitimate champ. Like he's 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 a beast. He's a beast. You know. Uh, it's 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 awesome to see because uh, you know you kind of felt bad you you kind of feel bad for him because it's not really his fault that he's getting this mega push and he's just not very likable but uh, he's he's very over as a heel and he's he's got a very big match uh, on Sunday night but let's, let's reel it back in the Usos versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I could see same I'm, I'm gonna say Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens win. They are way too hot of a face to not win. Longtime best friends. Um, I think the Usos, I think the bloodline as a whole might get swept as well. Um, I I don't see both factions sweeping or not sweeping, you know. But I don't see them I don't see either of them. Um, you know, splitting, like, you know, Usos win while Roman Reigns loses. Actually, that does sound kind of interesting. Uh, that does sound like an interesting dynamic. Imagine the Usos having the championships while Roman Reigns doesn't. That could be interesting. That could be an interesting dynamic, um, seeing as he's the end of the table. Uh, moving on. I'll, so my official prediction, I'll say Sami Zayn versus the Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens win. Next up, we have Becky Lynch, Lita, and Trish Stratus versus Damage Control. Uh, give me Damage Control here, and it's gonna be a way of betrayal or something, something between Lita and Trish Stratus, and Becky Lynch is gonna go wrong, um, and it's gonna cause a uh, some sort of it's gonna cost them the match, some sort of miscommunication or something is going to cost them the match. Moving on, we have what I would probably guess will be the match of the night. Seth freaking Rollins versus Logan Paul. This is going to be such a fun match to watch. I bet he's... I, I, Seth Rollins is like one of the best in-ring guys in the company and then Logan Paul has been pretty much lights out I, I would say, uh, as far as like celebrity appearances goes, he's been incredible. But I think 
Seth Rollins has to win. He has to win. You can't, you can't not let Seth Rollins win this match against uh, against a part timer and Logan Paul. I think he'll make he'll make Logan Paul look really good. And I could potentially see like a handshake at the end um, between Seth Rollins and Logan Paul, kind of uh, trying to get Logan Paul a little bit more over as like a wrestler. Uh, so it would be like almost like a respect kind of deal. Like, oh, you know, it was it, like the match is going to be that good. They might put on like a 30, 45 minute match. And, and it ends in Seth Rollins getting the win. But Logan Paul looking really, 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 really strong as a wrestler. And then the handshake would be like, you know, hey, you're not a celebrity. You're a wrestler, which I honestly think that more of a wrestler than he is anything else at the moment. He is killing it in, in wrestling. Uh, all of his matches have been incredible. And I would expect nothing less out of uh, this one. Nothing less. Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio. Uh, give me Rey Mysterio in this. He is retiring soon. He's been uh, kind of tough though I mean do you really have um, I, I feel like it would be Rey Mysterio's personality to, or like you know it would be very Rey Mysterio for him to like put over his son um, but at the same time the whole storyline is kind of led up to this uh, this this one match between the two and Rey Mysterio has kind of been the butt end of the storyline, getting getting picked on, getting embarrassed and all this stuff, so I don't really know where that leaves Rey Mysterio if he loses. Dominic Mysterio has an entire career ahead of him. Uh, I couldn't tell you who wins this, to be honest. I, I would say maybe there's some outside interference, there's some family drama gets dragged in or maybe Judgment Day helps. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea who's going to win this one. Honestly, I could see either one. There's a, there's an argument to be made about either one winning. Dominic Mysterio is the, young, the younger talent. Uh, has more to... Um, has more to, more to win for. Um, and then Rey Mysterio is going to be a, you know, a Hall of Famer after this weekend. So... Um, no clue, no clue, no clue. I, I'm, I'm going to go with a pass, a hard pass on this one. You guys let me know in the comments who's going to win this one. Braun Strowman and Ricochet versus the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy versus the Viking Raiders. WrestleMania showcase match. Like, why is, like, why is this a match? This doesn't need to be a match. This does not need to be a match. <laughs> I... I Give me the Street Profits, just because I feel like they've been getting a, a real big push. Um, I, I, I give me the Street Profits in this, in, in what is quite possibly just a uh, meaningless, meaningless match. WrestleMania Showcase match. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. But uh, yeah, give me, give me the Street Profits. I, I enjoy the Street Profits a good bit. So that is Saturday's card. Let's move on to Sunday's card where we have the headline of Sunday's WrestleMania being Roman Reigns versus the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And I feel like I maybe went in reverse order uh, there. I think maybe, um, maybe this closes out the show. This definitely closes out the show. There's no way it doesn't. I, I guess maybe the, the picture that I was going off of wasn't in any particular order. So maybe I saved this one for last, but uh, so you'll have to stick around at the end of the video to see who I think wins that match. But we have Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez versus Natalia, Natalia and Shotzi versus Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler versus Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. Again, why is this a match? Don't I, I, I don't know why 
surprise Ronda Rousey in this match? I don't know. This is like just a participation match. I don't know. WrestleMania showcase match again. Is this like the pre-show? I don't know. I don't know. But give me Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Um, just because that most legitimate of the group. Maybe Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez. Just because they've kind of been pushing Raquel Rodriguez a good bit. I have no idea who she is. But I watched the Royal Rumble. And she was like one of the one of the last ones. And when, they, when she was coming out, the announcers were super, super pushing uh, her with their commentary. So maybe Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez could win. I don't know. But I would say between them and Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, maybe Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler start to, start to uh, have some miscommunication and that leads to their feud or something. I don't know. Because they are both legitimate MMA fighters. Obviously, Ronda Rousey is, you know, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler was also an MMA fighter. Next up, we have Brock Lesnar versus Omos. Or Omos. Omos. Uh, oh, man. Brock Lesnar. What is there to say about Brock Lesnar? Brock Lesnar is quite literally the baddest man on the planet. I don't care what anybody says. In a street fight, there there's quite literally nobody I would rather have in my corner than like Brock. Like that dude is terrifying. That dude is legitimately terrifying. He won the World Heavyweight Championship in the UFC. So he's a legitimate, legitimate fighter. Um, of course he but like I think if you throw away any rules any rules of engagement in a street fight I, 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 I just don't know I just don't know I just don't know who's 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 better who's bigger who's badder than Brock Lesnar um, I, I I don't see him losing to Omos I, I and unless he's going away for you know six months which very well that that's kind of what these part-timers Brock Lesnar uh, Logan Paul um, who else John Cena like it very well be maybe that they're just there to put over their opponents and then go away for six months you know so I could see that happening uh, but I just don't know I just don't know I could see this being a chance for Brock Lesnar to get <coughs> I could see this being a chance for Brock Lesnar to just just get more over, um, or not more over, but uh, kind of remind everybody that Brock Lesnar is Brock Lesnar, and because uh, he's been doing a lot of like solo work, he's he's not with Paul Heyman anymore. He's been doing stuff on the mic and doing these like, you know, he's this oh big funny guy. Um, or not really funny, but he's you know smiling and he's not the you know go you know all business go to the ring and fight wrestle, leave, uh, you know, no smiles or anything like that. He's, he's kind of become a little bit of a character. And I can see this as an opportunity uh, for the WWE to kind of reinstate the fact that, like, Brock Lesnar is Brock Lesnar. I hate it. This could be a squash. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not a squash, but this, this could really showcase Brock Lesnar's um, abilities and, and taking on Omos. Next we have Edge versus Finn Balor, and it's Demon Finn Balor, something we have not gotten in quite some time. To my knowledge, I don't know the last time uh, there was Demon Finn Balor, but this is going to be probably the second best match of the night. Obviously this could be like the best uh, like technical fight, like technical match of the night. Edge versus Finn Balor. In a hell in a cell. This is gonna be so interesting. Um, you got De Demon Finn Balor versus potentially like some Edge could pull out some stops. Edge could have uh, like Gangrel come out, or um, I, I wish I wish Christian wasn't under contract with AEW. 
AEW. I think he's under contract with AEW. It'd be really cool to see uh, kind of them come and help, you know, with with Edge in the Cell in a Cell match. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but with Finn Balor being the demon, I could very well see Edge coming out as like the brood. He's already done it once. He could do it again, um, which would be really cool. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, I'm, I, I, I love the uh, the brood entrance music. It's really, really good entrance music and, and, and would be fitting for Alan Azell, you know. Uh, as far as who wins, give me Finn Balor. Give me Finn Balor, Demon Finn Balor. They got to protect that. I don't know that. I think, I, I still think that Demon Finn Balor is undefeated. I cannot remember if he lost. I think he did lose in like a really weird fashion. And I feel like they should have protected the the demon gimmick. Um, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You guys let me know if I'm wrong. Again, I'm not this uh, super knowledgeable wrestling fan anymore. I used to be. But, uh, you know, as far as, like, watching every show and, and remembering all the history and stuff, it's not all there. It's not all there. So you guys let me know in the comments. But next up we have Gunther versus Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus for Intercontinental Championship triple threat match. Give me Gunther. Give me Gunther in this. He uh, really won me over at the Royal Rumble. This dude is... is they, they've portrayed him perfectly. Um, he, he's, he is great from what I've seen. I, I haven't seen much that I have seen. He seems like he is legitimate material, um, championship material. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus have been doing this like back and forth thing between the two of them. I could see maybe that costing them the match. Um, you know, they're not together, but you know, they, you know, some, some sort of tempers flare between the two. And, uh, Gunther gets the something I don't know I don't know but yeah I, I I could see him retaining because they're gonna need a uh, a new a new like legacy champion if that makes sense he's had that title he's had the intercontinental championship for a while now and with the main event being what the main event is I could see him being like the new uh, kind of like, oh, he's been, he's had the title for X amount of days kind of deal. We'll see, though. We'll see. Bianca Belair versus Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship match. Um, give me Asuka. Give me Asuka. Bianca Belair has had the championship for a while. Um, she, she's not really, she doesn't really do it for me. I don't know. She doesn't really do it for me. Her, her gimmick whole hair thing, I don't know, I don't know, it's cool, but I feel like she, I feel like she's too much, like her character is too much hair, like, I, I, I can't remember the last time, the last time I watched, uh, it was like a Smackdown or something, she literally came to the ring and she was just twirling her hair the whole time, and I was like, lady, you are a person, you are not a hair, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, she's like, I get that it's part of organic, but it's like, it's almost like the hair is the champion and not her. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think, I think Oscar wins and, uh, I, but it could be a really great match. It could be a really good, great match. I'm just not a big Bianca Belair fan. And then the last, 
eventually in the history of WrestleMania. I, I, again, there might be like some, you know, some WrestleMania from like, you know, WrestleMania 3 where, you know, Randy Savage beat Hulk Hogan in a whatever match. And, so, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But in, in Greece, as far as recent history goes, last 10, 15, 20 years, if Cody Rhodes wins, that is going to be one of the coolest moments. Oh, I guess Daniel Bryan winning the championship. That was that was pretty that was pretty awesome. That that would be that level, you know. I think this would actually be elevated above that. But it's gonna be on that level of like emotional moment for a wrestler. I would say higher. I would say much higher. Cody Rhodes, of course, being the son of Dusty Rhodes, the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, hence the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes. I think it would be, um, I, I think it's, I think it is, it is time uh, for, for Roman Reigns to drop the title. Or maybe not. Uh, maybe not. The, the only thing, the only thing that keeps me somewhat, um, somewhat hesitant to go all in on Cody Rhodes is the fact that Roman Reigns is so close to being the champion for a thousand days, guys, a thousand days is almost three years, right? 365, yeah, 365 times three would be over a thousand. He is almost, he's been the champion for almost three years. That is insane. And I feel like they want that thousand, thousand day mark. But I just, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go Cody Rhodes here. I'm back in Cody Rhodes. I'm back in the feel good moment in the show. I don't see a lot of feel good moments here uh, on this card. So I, I would say a feel good moment of, of the whole weekend would be Cody Rhodes winning against Roman Reigns becoming the undisputed WWE Universal Champion I think they should, they should split the belt somehow but I don't know how they're going to do that moving forward but that is the entire Wrestlemania card let me know in the comment section what you guys think am I wrong about something Am I did I, did I did I describe something wrong? Did I maybe forget a detail of a storyline, or or maybe uh, you know, did I did I uh, did I mistakenly say someone's you know I don't know I don't know who knows I'm not I'm not a historian when it comes to wrestling I'm not a uh, um, uh, uh, an expert in this anymore anymore I used to be. Back in the day, I used to watch this stuff religiously, man. I really did. But uh, I'll be watching Saturday. I'll be watching Sunday. Uh, I don't know about sitting through the entire show the whole time, just because that's a lot. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. Leave a like if you made it to the end of the video. Uh, comment. Uh, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Hollywood. And I will see you all 